Ah, terra firma, eh? Fantastic. It looks different from here. Oh, yes. But almost 50 years ago, one man went much, much higher than me. And he experienced the atmosphere in a completely different way. On August the 16th, 1960, long before man had set foot on the moon, military pilot Joe Kittinger took a solo journey to the edge of space. Not in a rocket, but in a giant helium balloon. He reached 31 kilometers. High into the stratosphere. That's twice the height that I reached. Then Kittinger did something astonishing. He jumped. This is the actual moment. He fell to earth, reaching a speed of almost 1,000 kilometers an hour and yet he could feel absolutely nothing. I had no ripple of the, of the fabric, uh, my pressure suit, and I, I, it was a very weird sensation. I had no, uh, no visual reference on anything, so I thought I was really suspended in space. Only when he re-entered the troposphere, the lower atmosphere, did he experience the deafening but reassuring roar of air rushing past him. Finally, he opened his parachute. His jump remains the longest free fall in history. Just 15 minutes after he jumped, Kittinger was back on the ground. Falling from over 30 kilometers high, Kittinger had plummeted through 99% of the gases that make up the atmosphere. 15 minutes before I'd been at the edge of space, and now to me I was in the Garden of Eden. I mean, we really don't appreciate what a beautiful planet we have. Although Kittinger had jumped from high in the stratosphere, he still didn't reach the furthest edge of our atmosphere. 